A lot of students ask if it's possible to graph absolute value functions on the TI calculator because we don't see anywhere those vertical bars that we're accustomed to seeing for absolute value. And in fact, it's actually quite simple. So let's, let's actually look at this example and I'll show you how to graph these on your calculator. So let's say we wanted to graph negative absolute value of x plus 4 quantity minus 2 on our calculator. So we'll, we'll pull our calculator up. All right, we'll turn it on, okay, and um, then we'll go to y equals, and then we'll want to type in our function in, right here for y1. So we've got negative, okay, but where's the absolute value? If you look on the, the keypad here, I don't see anywhere very clear that has two vertical bars or anything like that. So what you can do is you can go, go to math, and then right arrow to the number column, and the very first option says ABS. ABS stands for absolute value, and that's it. So we'll push enter. So we'll have negative absolute value of, and then we finish, you know, finish the rest of the function out. Absolute value of x plus four, then right arrow to get out of the absolute values, minus two. Now before I push graph, some of you might have some older version of the software. Uh, some TIs don't actually give the vertical bars. They continue to just say ABS. That's no big deal. You would just have negative ABS, parentheses, X plus four, close parentheses, and that for you also means absolute value of X plus four. Only the newer software actually shows the absolute value bars. All right, and that's it. So we'll um, go to our graph here and there it is this is that graph notice it's downward facing because of the negative that's a reflection downwards um, also notice that it's moved to the left four and down two just as we would sus suspect if we graphed it by hand using translations or whatnot so again it's pretty easy to graph absolute value functions on the calculator you just have to know where to find the absolute value which again is under the math button right arrow to the number column and ABS right here.